Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how I set up my alpaca. We did it! But before we get into it, please consider to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's just a small button for you, but it means the world to me and helps getting gyro out to the people. Now let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is choose a sensitivity that is comfortable for you to navigate around the desktop. I wouldn't just straight up copy my sensitivities because I'm using a 500Hz volume rate firmware and the default is 250. I would recommend is downloading raw Axel. This is a free software you can download and it's very helpful to set up your sensitivity and change it once you have dialed it in. I will show you later. The first thing you want to do if you have choose your sensitivity you want to leave this at 1 and don't change anything yet and then you go into your game and calibrate your real world sensitivity or RVS. I'm gonna show you now. Once you're in the game you just choose a random sensitivity and then check how many degrees it turns. So the goal for me is to make RVS 8 because that's pretty easy to then calibrate with raw oxel and change the sensitivities. So I would recommend to do this as well. So if you have this, just do a 90 degree turn and then the goal is to get two in-game turns. So that's a little bit more than one. It means you can about double it. Now I'm just gonna... I know which sensitivity it is, so I'm gonna show you what the end goal is. So now we should do two, one, two. So that's the sensitivity you have for Overwatch 12.7. So once you calibrated the sensitivity in the aim trainer or whatever game you play with raw Axel at one, you can convert it to whatever game you want. If you go to mousesensitivity.com, then you choose the game you want to play and type in all your stuff and then it will show you the mouse sensitivity you have to set it to to get the same sensitivity as in the game you played before. So the goal is to get RVS 8 again in BF2042 and according to mouse sensitivity that would be 21. Now we're going to check if that's true. Here we are in the game and we're gonna set it to 21 and then we should have RVS 8 so two turns for a 90 degree controller turn. That's one Two. So that's about correct. That's how easy you can convert it between games once you have dialed it in once. Now we have calibrated it to RVS 8. Now if you don't want to play with such a high sensitivity, so you can just reduce the sensitivity right here by calculating the numbers. So if you want to play at RVS 6 for example, you type in 0.75. If you want to play at RVS4 that's obviously half of it so that will be 0.5. And now you should have RVS4. So that would be one turn for a 90 degree. So that's about correct. Now if you want to use acceleration with alpaca you can do it here in raw axel. I'm gonna show you my favorite acceleration setting with an offset so that acceleration doesn't kick in until a certain speed threshold is achieved. So I'd like to use 6 to 8. Now for that you're gonna type in 0.75 because that's 8 times 0.75 is 6. So that's your starting sensitivity. And then you're gonna choose both here and cap input is the upper speed threshold you want to hit. Now I like to use a pretty low one of about 6. Then cap output is the acceleration strength so that would be 0.33. 
and the offset you can choose here that's I'm gonna say 5.5 now you have kind of like a two-stage sensitivity so now you can see the red point is the speed I'm moving the controller and you can see acceleration doesn't kick in so if you want to track targets you can still do that at the RVS6 and if you do a 180 it will speed up to 8 and if you don't want to use such a strong curve you can just increase the input so let's do 14 for example and then you have a smoother transition if you want that you can play around with these you can choose your acceleration strength you can go like 6 to 12 or you can reduce the offset even more to like 4 then it will get a little bit closer and acceleration will kick in earlier or you can just increase it a lot and it will kick in a lot later so you can do all this with raw axel but if you have an alpaca i would highly recommend to get custom curve it's kind of similar to raw axel but it costs like five or ten bucks so not that much but the cool thing here is you can set up 10 different profiles so if you want to change sensitivity you can just click on the profile and it will change the sensitivity I found this to be pretty cool so I can choose between RVS 8 RVS 5.5 or with acceleration different acceleration curves I tried to play around with Let's that will be RVS5 and that will be RVS6 this will be the acceleration curve that I have used for Battlefield 2042 most of the time the pretty short offset and this one is what I used for Call of Duty Black Ops 6 I decreased the base sensitivity to 5.5 and increased the offset a little bit I have been switching to RVS5 without acceleration a few days ago and I kind of like it but sometimes the range of motion is a little bit too short but yeah overall I think acceleration is a pretty good option for full ratcheting gyro controls so I highly recommend to give it a go and see if you like it that's it for today's video let me know if you have any questions or suggestions thanks for watching and see you next time